Hello everyone, welcome to Dentamedia YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about structure of dentin. Let's get started. Structure of dentin. 1. Dentinal tubules. The dentinal tubules are sigmoid, s, shaped curved structures which run perpendicularly from the pulp toward the periphery. Near the root tip, incisal edges, and cusps, the dentinal tubules are almost straight. The first CONVXity of the doubly curved dentinal tubules is directed towards the apex of the tooth. They are perpendicular to dentinoenamel junction and cementoenamel junction. Two bends making up the S shape are called the primary curvatures, secondary curves during the deposition of dentin. The odontoblast makes slight undulations that creates wavy dentinal tubules. Waviness of the dentinal tubules is called secondary curves. The thickness of dentin is between 3 to 10 mm. The diameter of the dentinal tubules is larger at the pulpal side, 1.5 to 3 microns, than at the dentinoenamel junction. 1 micron. The number of tubules per unit area at the pulpal end is nearly 4 to 5 times more than at the outer surface of the dentin. The ratio between the outer and the inner surfaces of dentin on an average is 5 colon 1. Therefore, the tubules are farther apart in the outer layers and closer together near the pulp, number pulpal, outer surfaces of the dentin 4 colon 1, number per square mm. 50,000090,000. The root dentin has lesser tubules compared to the crown. The dentinal tubules show more branching at their terminal parts. The lateral branches are called as canaliculi or microtubules. These microtubules originate at right angles to the main tubules every 1 to 2 microns along its length. The dentinal tubules contain the odontoblastic processes and a thin organic sheath lining the dentinal tubules. This layer is called lamina limitans. A few dentinal tubules may extend through the DEJ into enamel for several millimeters called enamel spindles. Clinical implication of dentinal tubules make the dentin permeable, providing a pathway for the invasion of caries. Microscopic examination of infected dentin shows that the dentinal tubules are packed with microorganisms well ahead. Drugs and chemicals present in a variety of dental restorative materials can also diffuse through the dentin and create pulpal injury. Peritubular or intratubular dentin, a cross section of the dentinal tubules when viewed in a ground section shows the dentin that immediately surrounds the dentinal tubules and is termed peritubular dentin or intratubular dentin, more highly mineralized, 9%, and lacks collagen fibers than intertubular dentin. The intratubular dentin is formed after the intertubular dentin formation occurs. Intratubular dentin is approximately two times as thick in outer dentin than in inner dentin. Intertubular dentin. The main mass of dentin is composed of intertubular dentin that is present between the dentinal tubules or peritubular dentin. About one half of its volume is organic matrix, mainly collagen fibrils, which are randomly arranged around the dentinal tubules. Highly mineralized retained after decalcification, predentin. Predentin is the innermost portion of dentin that is not mineralized. The predentin represents the first formed dentin. The predentin is located adjacent to the pulpal tissue and is 2 to 6 microns thick. Its thickness depends upon the activity of the odontoblast. As the collagen fibers undergo mineralization at the predentin dentin front, the predentin then becomes dentin and thus a new layer of predentin forms around the pulpal tissue. Odontoblastic processes the cytoplasmic extensions of the odontoblast which extend into the dentinal tubules are called odontoblastic processes. The cells are present in the peripheral pulp at the pulp predentin border. The process has a diameter of 3, 4 mm when it enters the dentinal tubule and tapers to about 1 mm as it extends further into the tubule. Cell bodies of the odontoblast are about 7 microns in diameter and about 40 microns in length. Therefore, 
The odontoblastic processes become narrow to about half the size of the cell as they enter the dentinal tubules. So in this video, we have covered structure of dentin, if you like our video then do comment and please subscribe our channel to get daily updates, thank you for watching.